In this video, I'm going to focus on with Tailwind is dark mode. Dark mode is the ability when your operating system goes from light or dark, whether you demand it's in one state or the other, or you could have your operating system uh, just kind of like change as it detects it's nighttime. Me, I'm always on the dark side everywhere, even if it's like I'm on a beach, which I probably need to be because I'm, I'm like really pasty, but um, it's always in dark mode. Uh, too much light is just blinding to me. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do something in dark mode. And it's as easy as anything else. You just call it out directly in your class name and it just does it, which is super cool. So let's come down in here and we have e the div. And so let's do an h3 inside. Let's save that so it formats. All right, cool. So we'll do some text right here because we can. So we have that. Let's come below this. And then let's do watch as I churn on dark mode somehow. So this isn't very exciting. Um, it's just a plain Jane, you know, we got, we got some text going on here. But let's go ahead and start making this a little bit more, uh, I guess you would say, interesting. So let's start with this paragraph tag right here. We'll start in reverse order. We'll do class name equals. And then we want to do text, which is the color of the text itself. We'll do text slate at 500 and then dark. So what's it going to be when it switches to dark? We're going to do text slate and let's make it slightly less dark at 400. We're going to do a margin top of two, which if you look off to the side is 0.5 REM. So about eight pixels, which is, um, you know, pretty cool there. And then we're going to do the text. Uh, we'll make it uh, a small size, which off to the side there, you can see is going to be about 14 pixels. Visual Studio Code does a lot of really cool stuff for you when it comes to the IntelliSense in this. All it really comes down to is kind of memorizing how to access it in Tailwind. So let's do a text. Let's do a slate of 900. So we're going to make it a bit dark here. And when it's dark, Let's give this a BG, which is background of slate, which is going to be 800. And a lot of this is me just doing it on the, on the fly. So we're going to round this off as well. So we're going to give it a 0.5 REM, um, like a, just a border radius here. And then PX6 means across the X axis, we're going to give padding on either side of about 24 pixels, 1.5 REM. We're going to do uh, padding at the top. We're going to just do eight. And then let's do a shadow XL. And so we're going to add uh, a little bit of shadowing in there. And so what we're going to do here in the class name for the div up above, we're going to do background of white. We're going to do dark. So when it hits dark mode, it does something special. We're going to do BG slate. And why am I choosing these colors? I don't know, because it was easy to do in my example. So Feel free to play around with these yourself. It's very easy to work with these. So rounded, we'll do rounded large, and then we'll do a pixel six. We'll do the same kind of padding there, and let's do a shadow XL. And actually I realized I, uh, I did this, I was a little off right here. I was, I was wondering why as I was typing, I was looking at the long, wrong line off screen. So when we do dark, we're going to do text white right there. That was my fault. Sorry if you had to retype any of that. That's what happens when you do coding examples. So now we see this here, and this is cool. So let me bring this down a little bit here. So when it's dark mode, the background should be like really dark here. And as we could see, I have this set to dark mode right now, so let's turn it to light. So now this goes back to white. So that's pretty cool, right? And obviously I'm gonna cover up my um, email there. But as I come back and I take this off screen to make it easier for me to edit, I'm gonna switch it back to dark mode. And we can see that, you know, the colors have changed, obviously on my laptop as well. But now it's looking into my code here where it says dark and it's like, hmm, do I have any rules? Okay, well, the OS says it's in dark mode, so let's apply those. And when it's not in dark mode, 
it will say, hey, uh, ignore this rule right here. And that's how you do dark mode or light mode, which is just everything without this dark prefix on it. So if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.